Welcome to Across the Gulf Coast, highlighting organizations, events, and people from around our local community. Hello, I'm Cam Johnson with Cox Communications, and I'd like to welcome you to this month's episode of Across the Gulf Coast. Well, it's about holiday season. We've got some great holiday events coming up that we're going to talk about in Fort Walton Beach, Pensacola, and uh, all across the Gulf Coast. But first, we're joined by Striving for Perfection uh, Synergy to talk about an event they have coming up in the latter part of November and, and in December. But for uh, S4P Synergy overall, uh, joining me to talk about that is Anthony Sawyer. You are the Executive Director uh, for S4P Synergy. And Yvette Torrey, uh, you're the Community Outreach Coordinator. Thank you both so much for being my guest today. Thank Thanks for having Thanks us. So Absolutely. Uh, Anthony, let's start with you. Uh, for people out there that might not be familiar with the organization, tell us a little bit about what S4P Synergy does and what your mission is. Okay. Uh, well, we're a community development corporation. We're actually the nonprofit outreach for Striving for Perfection Ministries. And part of or what we try to do uh, is to help improve our community uh, through uh, three, three areas. We work through faith, community, and uh, with our local government. We try to bring those three together uh, to better serve our community. And we do that through life enrichment programs. Uh, one of those we'll be talking about today uh, through education and through benevolence. Um, our group's been around since uh, 2000. Uh, we're also a United Way agency, so you can find us on the United Way website and, and, uh, and the things that we do with, with them also. Um, one of the great things that we do is we have a feeding program. Uh, we do a weekly feeding for the community. Uh, we're also um, uh, participate with Oklahoma County Education mm -hmm. through mentoring. Um, um, in the past, you've seen um, our previous director, mm -hmm. Lynn Mack, doing the mentoring uh, telethons that we, we used to do. Um, and we still do that. We're actually the largest uh, trainer of mentors in Okaloosa County. Um, so that's something that's really dear to our heart. And then we also um, we do several community events throughout the year, um, targeted both for, towards senior citizens and also to the youth, uh, where we, we do a three-in-one community event where we uh, do an outreach to the ch to children for backpacks and some doing after-school supplies. Uh, we also do health checks during that time. And then we also have a little bit of benevolence where we do assistance for folks with both utilities who get behind on those and rent, things like that. So y'all are very busy, a nice cross-section of, of different programs to help the community. We do. Mm -hmm. And I want to, before we wrap up, we'll talk yeah. about how people can volunteer uh, for some of those. But uh, real quick with the mentoring, because uh, mentors are always in, we're always in such great need. What are the age groups uh, for mentors? Is it all students K through 12 that you focus on? or? Yeah, primarily it's K through 12. Um, and we, uh, um, and anyone can mentor. I mean, we, we, we try to tell everyone, you know, it doesn't really require too much of your time. It's about an hour a week. Um, and we, 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 we provide mentors all throughout Okaloosa County Schools. Uh, we do the training actually at our, at our location at Striving for Perfection Ministries. Um, but if we need be, we'll actually come to your location. In fact, next Monday I'm going to Crestview to do some training. Um, and so it's, it's a great need. Um, and in particular, like uh, one schools we're really trying to work with right now is Wright Elementary, uh, providing mentors for them. Uh, but the need is all throughout Oklahoma County and yeah. it provides such a great impact for the students. Absolutely. It's one of those that you see, it, 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 that one hour you spend with a child uh, and just getting to get to know them and what their situation is, it has a huge impact. And the teachers and all the schools will tell you that the kids who are being mentored show in a quick and immediate turnaround. And, and it's really rewarding for yourself, too. Because Absolutely. You that, that's fantastic. Kid. Thank you all for, for having that program. That is such a huge need in, in this community and all, all across the Gulf Coast to have those mentors. In fact, my parents do it at, at a, oh, the yeah. school in their neighborhood. And it, I think it's has meant as much to them mm -hmm. as it has to the kids. So th that is uh, fantastic that y'all do that here. Uh, but let's talk about one of the things you mentioned were, uh, was a, a feeding program, but y'all have event coming up in the latter part of uh, November uh, uh, for the, the Feast Fit for a, a King. Is yes, that correct? That Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, that event is very near and dear to our heart because mm -hmm. it gives honor to the senior citizens in our community. Again, that's one of the tenets of children and seniors being part of us that we uh, like to address. With this, this will be our 11th year for doing it. Okay. And usually for this um, event, we feed and give a sit down uh, Thanksgiving type meal for the uh, senior citizens and we invite them from the different um, nursing homes in the area 
Crestview, some from Destin, all the ones basically here in Fort Walton. And we have them come in. We use the buses actually from the Okaloosa County School District. We rent those. And generally at this event, we have a little over uh, 500 that show up wow. for this event. And again, we give them a sit down, a meal. Well, we have the children come in from different organizations, come in and entertain those <laughs> seniors because they love the children and the children Absolutely. love being up there and, and doing something for them. And then we also give them a gift, you know, something nice that they could use. Yeah. We usually put in a blanket, some toiletries, but just let them know that we honor them and we love them and we just want to give them uh, give them that. Now, is it only uh, seniors from, from some of the retirement homes or can somebody at home watch right now can they they come as well the event has gotten so large <laughs> in, in our place now in our facility because we do hold hold it at uh, striving for perfection ministries mm -hmm. and this year we're actually going to be having a tent oh, wow. outside that we're going to do okay. and it'll be decorated everything will be wonderful for the overflow okay. um, community what we ask to do is to make sure that we focus really on the senior citizens to come mm -hmm. um, for this event but right now we are pretty much a lot of you're, capacity. You're, absolutely. Well, we're, we're almost out of time. I know that, that six minutes flies by, but I do want to talk about how people can volunteer, Anthony. If, if somebody wants to volunteer with any of these programs so that, that you guys run, how can they go about doing that? Um, they can contact us directly. Um, I think you're going to have our number up so yeah, they can contact the us there. Um, you can also go to our website over at the, the strivinghome.org and, and see information there. Or you can also contact the United Way. Uh, since we are a United Way agency, they can just call the United Way and say, hey, I want to volunteer at Strive, uh, uh, S for Peace Energy, and they'll direct you to us and, or get your information over to us. And, uh, um, and we have opportunities both with the mentoring program. Well, we, do, uh, we, we, we have a food giveaway that we do once a month, and we have people who come and help with that. And, uh, so those, those are our big assistance programs. Okay. Well, thank you all both so much for being on the show today. I really appreciate it. I know we only kind of skimmed the surface of what you all do yeah. here, but I'm sure we'll have you back. To, uh, to talk about more events and more uh, programs that you have in, in Oakland County. So thank you both so much for being my guest today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll be talking holiday events in downtown Fort Walton Beach. <laughs>